conductors. Many materials allow electric current to pass through them and they are called good conductor of electricity. Liquids also conduct electricity. We can use tester to find out which liquid conducts electricity. When the electric current passes through some conductor, the bulb glows. If the material is a poor conductor of electric current, the bulb does not glow. Heating effect of electric current Why does the bulb glow when the electric current passes through it? Due to the heating effect of current, the filament of the bulb gets heated to high temperature and starts glowing. If the current flowing through a circuit is weak, or the material may not conduct electric current, the filament does not get heated sufficiently and does not glow, though the circuit is complete. We may use LED in place of electric bulb in the tester. LED glows even when a weak electric current flows through the circuit. Another tester used is based on the magnetic effect of electric current. That can also be used to detect weak electric current. Here, instead of bulb, a compass needle is connected in electric circuit. When electric current passes through the circuit, deflection of the magnetic needle can be seen. So, we can say that under certain circumstances, most material can conduct electric current. Tap water, water from hand pump, and pond is not pure. Small amounts of mineral salts are naturally present in that, and so they are good conductors of electric current. While distilled water is free of salts and therefore is a poor conductor but when a pinch of salt is added to that it becomes a good conductor of electric current chemical effects of electric current what effect does the electric current produce when it flows through a conducting solution. Let us perform an activity. Take out carbon rods carefully from two discarded cells and clean their metal caps with sandpaper. Wrap copper wires around the metal caps of the carbon rods and join them to a battery. There are two electrodes. Pour a cup of distilled water in a beaker. Add a teaspoon of salt to water. Fully immerse the electrodes in this solution. Wait for 3 to 5 minutes. Observe the electrodes carefully. What do you observe? 
gas bubbles near the electrodes. Why? The passage of an electric current through a conducting solution causes chemical reactions. As a result, depending on the nature of solution and electrodes used, bubbles of gas may be formed on the electrodes, deposits of metal may be seen on the electrodes, change of color of solutions may occur. These are known as chemical effects of the electric current. Electroplating The process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called electroplating. It is one of the most common applications of chemical effect of electric current. Let's understand the phenomenon with this activity. Take 250 ml of distilled water in a beaker and dissolve 2 teaspoons of copper sulfate in it. Add a few drops of diluted sulfuric acid to the copper sulfate solution. Take two copper plates of the size 10 cm by 4 cm. Clean them. Dry them. And connect them with terminals of a battery. And immerse them in the copper sulfate solution. Now pass the electric current for about 15 minutes through the circuit. Now remove the electrodes and observe them carefully. You will observe a brown color coating on the electrode attached to the negative terminal of the battery. Why? When electric current is passed through the copper sulfate solution, copper sulfate disassociates into copper and sulfate. The free copper gets drawn to the electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery and gets deposited on it. From the other copper plate, an equal amount of copper gets dissolved in solution. The loss of copper from the solution is resolved and the process continues. Electroplating is a very useful process. It is used in industry for coating metal objects with a thin layer of different metals of desired property. Example, chromium plating is done on car parts, bath taps, kitchen gas, burners, bicycle handles, wheel rims. Electroplating gives a shiny appearance and does not corrode. Jewelry makers electroplate silver and gold on less expensive metals. Tin cans used for storing food are made by electroplating tin onto iron and food does not come in contact with iron and is protected from getting spoiled.
A coating of zinc is deposited on iron to protect it from corrosion and formation of rust and then used to build bridges and automobiles and to provide strength.